Hey everyone, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventure here with me, Maria Young. And in this episode, we're going to be focused on this particular Vanda right here, where in our last episode, we decided to do an extreme, extreme experiment on. And in actual reality, what we did was an extreme propagation method, of which I like to call the shock method. And the reason why I call this the shock method is because basically that is exactly what we did. We put this Vanda right here through extreme shock. In hopes that it would be in survival mode and therefore would throw off some cakeys or some offshoots in hopes of surviving of course through its offspring. I know, I know, a lot of you guys were completely flabbergasted at the procedure that I chose to use. After all, I was literally taking a hammer and I was taking a nail and I was completely putting the nail through the stem of the actual Vanda. How much more extreme can we get, folks, right? Yeah, it doesn't get that much more extreme than that. But you know what, folks, in actual reality, it's not that far from the regular propagation method that's usually used on propagating Vandas. Because the regular propagation of a Vanda actually entails you having two healthy roots and then of course having at least four or five leaves on each side. And then if you have that, you would be able to completely sever the plant. I mean completely cut it apart. So yeah, that's pretty extreme too. So again, it's really no different. I actually believe using the shock method was just a little bit less harsher. And let me explain why I think that. Okay folks, so this right here used to be my big girl Vanda that once stood at four feet tall and she was getting too lanky and too wonky for her own good so I did decide to cut her down to size. But not just cut her down to size, I decided to do an extreme propagation method on her, cutting her into three different segments. Now unfortunately folks, it wasn't 100% successful because even though I did get a cakey from her and there goes the little baby right there ah isn't she so cute but folks I cut her into three segments one segment actually did not survive at all and this particular segment no cakeys whatsoever so yeah it was extreme and I risked cutting her three times and I only got one from her out of all of that folks but I will have to say as extreme as that propagation method was she did not even skip a beat I mean I think it was maybe a month later and she was spiking yet again coming into bloom oh my gosh which is kind of unheard of we always think when we do something severe to a Vanda or an orchid in general that sometimes it can get set back but folks not necessarily because in this case it didn't get set back and let me show you something that's going on with her even right now. If we take a close look into the inner axle of the leaf, you are actually seeing a spike that is beginning to form. And if we take a look at the other side, there it is. You're also seeing another one beginning to form. So I have two spikes coming up on this Vanda. So yeah, pretty hardy. And it takes a lot to really affect these kind of orchids right here. So folks, even as extreme as this experiment is and was, please don't fret folks. We have even a brighter, brighter future, I do believe. And let's take a closer look at what's going on with her. And I do have to say, it's only been three days, so we're not gonna notice any notable changes. And it's gonna take a couple of months to even notice if something is coming up on this Vanda. But I did wanna reassure you of one thing. Taking a very close look at this handsome fella, 
he is quite okay and doing quite well and if we take a look at the root system let's go ahead and show you just to reassure you there's so many root tips that are actually growing on here new root tips so indeed roots are safe and sound and growing well the leaves are a-okay no noticeable changes or discoloration in the leaves at all no wrinkling just as if it was before folks and now let's get to the good stuff right here okay folks you see that right there right that is actually the puncture wound and as you can see it's all dried out and you're not seeing any discoloration around there so indeed it is healing just fine thumbs up on that okay just fine folks now let's take a closer look down and here's the other one now of course you're noticing a little bit of discoloration but nothing majorly extreme again she did get bumped and bruised so yeah that is quite expected but again you're not seeing anything massive on here so I do believe this vanda right here is good to go so now it's just a matter of time and patience and of course staying tuned in to see the conclusion of the epic story at hand. And folks, I want to know from you, what do you guys think about this propagation method? I mean, is it too extreme and can it really work? What's your opinion on that? Because if you ask me, I will tell you that I really do believe that this is a feasible propagation method. Because because even though it seems a bit extreme, I know we use the hammer and a nail for crying out loud. But to be quite frank with you and to be honest with you, I don't even think it's as extreme as the normal propagation method. And in actual reality, I think it's just a little less harsher. Because in this case, we didn't do any extreme cutting and we did not sever this orchid in any way. As a matter of fact, we left it intact where it would grow as normal. And I actually believe it'll grow and bloom as normal with the extra benefit of of some cakeies. That's what I believe will transpire out of this. So indeed folks, stay tuned for more because I want to know what happens, don't you? And I thank you yet again for hanging out with me here at My Orchid Adventures. And indeed, if you like this video, please be sure to give it two green thumbs up. And if you guys want to stay tuned to the latest and greatest news of My Orchid Adventures, please be sure to subscribe. Now, of course, you guys know I am also on Facebook having a good old orchid time. So indeed, join me there as well at My Orchid Adventures right on Facebook. And if you guys want to snail mail me if you want to contact me through mail definitely you can do that at the address that's provided right here and I thank you guys so much for tuning in yet again to my orchid adventures and as you guys already know I love you all mm -hmm.